So the next step of creating our T-splines dolphin using the T-splines Farino plugin is to make the fins. Now the methods that we'll use for the side fins and the dorsal fin and the tail fin will all be the same. Uh, we'll just be doing some more extrusions. So we've selected the faces on the, the side of the model and we've ass actually assigned a hotkey to the extrude command. You can assign a hotkey to any command in the, in the TS options um, window and since extruding is something that we do so often we've just assigned a hotkey to that so that we can uh, rapidly do a lot of extrusions. Alternatively you can also just hit the spacebar or enter key and uh, it will repeat the last command. But we've done those extrusions in the box mode. Now we've hit tab to switch to smooth mode and we'll move these control points to match the curvature of the reference image. And switch to the bottom view to make sure it's looking good in the bottom as well. So now this is looking pretty good in the top view, but we'll see that this is actually a pretty fat fin. So if we go to the front view, we can select all those control points and scale this to make it thinner. And even right where the fin goes into the body, again, the, the since this is one single T-spine surface, then that will still stay smooth as it, as it intersects the body. We can use Rhino tools like the bend command to bend the fins as well. And now we'll start that same process again with the dorsal fin. So we can just selecting faces, extruding them, then after each extrusion scaling and repositioning the faces, performing additional extrusions. And, and finishing, finishing this off just like we did the side fins. So that's nicely taking shape. Um, again, we'll go to the the front view because that it's a fat extrusion that we did, and make this more narrow. Then one question that I get a lot with T splines is how to control the radius of the T spline when you have an extrusion. So you see, the this is a very gradual. Uh, curvature change from the main part of the of the dolphin to this th to this fin, and if we want to tighten up that curvature, then we can just insert an edge, and as you insert additional isoparms, then it will really tighten up the curvature. Um, T, -spines, T spines behave just like nerves in that regard, in that where there are tighter isoparms that, or more isoparms that are close together in a single area, then it will give it tighter curvature. So that's what we've been able to do to get get some tight get some tighter curvature going up to this dorsal fin is by adding a new isoparm. Here we can just do some some fine tuning on the on the front part of the dorsal fin. So that's how the model's looking to this point. We'll finish it off by creating the tail fin. And again, just that same workflow as with the other fins. Performing extrusions, 
scaling, moving, doing more extrusions, rotating the faces, and then dragging the center tip out for to get up to the to the, the tip of the tail. So you can see that with this T-Spine's workflow, there's definitely a lot more point dragging than if you were to, say, loft sections of this body from curves. Um, one benefit, though, that this has over lofting is that it makes it a, a much much easier to keep to keep a nice fair surface because the control point count is so low. can see we only need to work on again the one side of the model since symmetry is on okay so now the complete dolphin has been modeled now we can do just some some final editing so one thing we can do is use some of the Rhino commands, some of the their UDT commands such as bend to give the whole dolphin some to kind of shape the whole body and bend the whole body. So if we if we use the UDT commands and turn on the T-spine's control points and then do the UDT on the control points, then the model will stay a T-spine after after the command. If we were to have bent just the T-spine surface without turning on the, without turning on the control points, then uh, the T-spine would have been com converted to a NURBS automatically. But here we have our, our final T-spine surface. You can see with a, with a low control point count, at this point we can convert this to NURBS just by pushing the TS convert to Rhino surf command. And you can see how the T-spine is split up into rectangular NURBS regions, but the surface curvature does not change at all. And here is a render of the final model. And you can try out modeling with, with T-Spines yourself by downloading a free trial at tspines.com.